Shout out to Jazz for killing the hair game yet again. Hello my lovely babies. Welcome back. Today's video is all about the Inakin Endura T22. So I have the Endura T22 here in blue. It kind of goes with my hair. Now, I thought that this was more different, more so different than the Endura T18, which mine is up there, part of my Valentine's Day decoration. Um, but it's really not that much different. It's just like a bigger sister to the Endura T18. So we're still gonna check it out, but it's not that much different. I thought maybe that this battery was sub ohm, but it's, I don't think it is, cause it's only 14 watts regulated and it's a regulated device, which means it has protection features, it's regulated with wires, and unregulated is like a mech mod, you know, where you just stick the battery in. So anyways, let's check out what comes in the box. Now, I have the blue one, and it comes in three colors. This blue comes in black and red, and also silver, and I think silver with blue stripes. And I am giving one of these away in my 75,000 subscriber giveaway as well. So it opens up just like so. Ooh, that's such a pretty blue. Oh my god, I didn't think I was gonna like it. <laughs> my hair's not that blue. It's like silver, gray, purple, space, queen. Anyways, <laughs> so here it is. All in the tank is matching, and I see it has the flavor prism sign on it. And then what do we have in this? Oh, I thought it was a box. It's just like a little flappy flap. It has the charging cable, USB, micro USB port, and a one of those same kind of coils. Oh my god, if you didn't see these in the T18 video, look. They are fucking huge. Like, why are they so huge? Then we have some extra O-rings and a user's manual and the stickers on the bottom. Wow, this is so pretty. I love this blue. So here is the battery. Now, it, oops, it is upside down, senorita. <laughs> T22. This is a 2000 milliamp hour battery. Here is the 510 connection. Here's the bottom. We have the charge port here on the side, which is convenient for charging while it's just sitting up. We have the fire button here. One, two, three, four, five. And it flashes. Now, whereas this kind of has the same design as the Cortex, it's a definitely a smoother finish and does not have that weird, sticky, catchy finish that, that the Cortex has. This is a one button device, no screen. It is a max 14 watt device. And then the tank is very similar to the T18 as well, only it is larger. It holds four milliliters of e-liquid. There is a 1.5 ohm coil in here, removable matching drip tip. Same, there's the 510 connection. And this offers the quick change coil method where you just unscrew the base and then pull out the coil. Now, if you have e-liquid in here, you're going to want to not have e-liquid in here when you're changing out the coil. But look at that, look at that coil. <laughs> it's just so ridiculous, redonkulous, look how big it is. So that's how that goes. And you can see when you're putting in the coil, it needs to line up the base of the coil. See. See, it won't go in that way. You have to line it up with the base so it can fit in the slot completely and be flush. And then you screw the base back on. And to fill it, it's the same as the T18. You fill it from the top, nice wide. So as you can see, the coil is at the top. You see that? Here is the device put completely together. Looks really nice. You can see the flavor prism symbol right there. It means it gives out delicious flavor. And T22, can you see it? Now it says that both of these coils are 1.5 ohms. And I'm looking here on the spare coil, I don't see that labeled on the coil anywhere and that bothers me. If I'm missing it and it's there somewhere, please let me know down in the comments below because I cannot see the resistance. And especially with a device like this that doesn't tell you the resistance, doesn't have a screen, I really need to know the resistance and want to know the resistance of the coils that I'm putting in here. So yeah, that, I don't know how I feel about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill up my Endura T22 with some Milk Plus by Bonsai Vapors. Look, I got this a ginormous bottle. It's oh, so freaking good. One of my fave flaves for of all time. So I like to fill up the tank right to the very top airflow hole because there is like five airflow holes on this coil and the coil sits at the top you guys saw that and so I like the top wick 
area to have a lot of e-liquid that's why I like to keep these type of tanks for like this one and the t18 to be always like mostly full there it is nice and full I'm gonna go ahead and let this wick up for a good bit because it is such a beefy coil and then come back and show you guys how it vapes so along with letting it wick up I'm also having it charge a bit because the light when I turned it off was flashing red but now it's green while it's charging so I think it's good I'm gonna read what the battery indicator is because I didn't see no yellow in there I mean you guys saw me turn it on it didn't do the techno disco in a can traditional light <sighs> let's see what you have to say well it is saying that it flashes yellow as well hmm. Ooh, let me tell you specifically since it's charging and wicking green means almost fully charged battery voltage is higher than 3.75 volts yellow equals half power battery voltage is around 3.6 volts to 3.7 volts and red means low power. Battery voltage is less than 3.6 volts. Charge the Endura T22, and that's underlined and bolded. Oh, this says, important. After refilling, please wait five minutes before vaping. Usually I give them about two to three just because I'm impatient and I do like priming puffs. And priming puffs, if you don't know, are where you just inhale without pushing the fire button and it helps, the gravity helps draw the e-liquid up into the wick. Oh wow, I've never seen this in a user's manual before. But under the list of e-liquid caution, which I really do support because it says uh, take care when filling your tank. If you get it on your skin, wash your hands. Everybody knows that. If you get it on your in your eyes, rinse immediately and thoroughly and seek medical advice. And then it says in case of an accident or if you feel unwell, seek medical advice. Seek full medical advice. <laughs> I have not seen that in a user's manual yet. It recommends that you only use the tank, that tank, on the T22 tank on the Endura T22 because it can't read the resistance and you want to be careful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it says Inakin technology is not responsible for any clear miser slash tank or battery damage due to the use of low quality e-liquid or dry herb. <laughs> so you guys, just so you know, Inakin is not responsible. They are saying right here. Love it. I'm going to cover in their asses. Good job. Wow, this little user's manual is so full of important stuff. I love it. Ooh, oh, it has safety protections, even though it doesn't have a screen, which some people see as a downside. Some people don't really care. I, you know, I see so many devices, but I personally like a screen. But this says for the safety features that it has, it has a 15 second cutoff. It has a low voltage warning. It has short circuit slash atomizer protection, and it has over discharge protection. That is awesome. I love those protections. It has overcharge protection, it has overheat protection, and it is a pass-through device so you can vape while it's charging. So like I could vape it right now if I wanted to while it's charging, but I'm just gonna let it charge up and wick up. Oh, and this is warranty information for anybody interested. Inakin Technology provides a 30-day Endura T22 after sales service warranty to all of our authorized vendors. Definitely loving that. Uh-oh, I think there's a typo on your user's manual. You see where it says, please contact the official Inakin website, www.inkin.com. You forgot the O, right? It's inokin.com, right? Just thought I'd point that out. Okay, I think she's ready. It's been probably over five minutes since I was just perusing through the user's manual. But I'll go ahead and give her some priming puffs beforehand. I really love this blue, this electric blue. Kind of reminds me of the blue that the E-Leaf Eye Sticks came in. I don't think I ever personally had a blue one. I had pink and silver, but indoor smokers had blue ones. And this kind of reminds me of that blue. It's really nice and really pretty. I love it. So just from taking some priming puffs, I can tell that the airflow is very tight very tight draw perfect for beginners or smokers looking to make the switch and this is like what the t18 and the t22 are marketed towards beginner vapors or smokers looking to make the switch this one is just basically like if you need a bigger tank and a bigger battery so it's still like an on-the-go device but it's not as like compact as the 18 up here plus the 18 comes in pretty colors like pink and baby blue so <laughs> I definitely love that this one right now is only available in three colors, I believe. Hopefully they come out with some 
other colors, you know. I'm still waiting for a yellow mod, like a baby soft yellow. Not like a bright race car yellow, no. Like a soft yellow. I would, I would love that. Well, I should turn it on if I think I'm, if I'm gonna vape it at all. <laughs> See, it doesn't, it doesn't go through the disco light like it usually, like Anakin products used to do. It just flashes green because it's ready to go. It's charged. Wow, I almost feel like this. I almost feel like it has a tighter draw than the T18. Oh, but the flavor is so good. But yeah, that is a very tight mouth to lung. And right now I'm trying to just lung inhale it. So I'll try a mouth to lung. But that's like foreign way to vape for me now. I don't vape like that anymore. Wow. Yeah, I feel like this might be a tighter airflow. Definitely. Because I've been using the crap out of my T18. I've been trying to get my mom to use it. But actually, I set my mom up with a V-Box Mini 30 watt. Which is also up there, but I set her up with a different one. Not obviously, because mine's right there. Ugh. Oh. The flavor is good though. The flavor is so delicious. I don't even know what it is. These coils are the weirdest, but they produce delicious flavor. But I don't understand why they are so huge. Like, why aren't they like the... Well, I guess the iSub coils are sub-ohm. So they're, they're like this because they're not sub-ohm. And for a device that is not sub-ohm and has a very tight air draw, it's producing a good vapor, as you can see. from. And this is me mouth to lung in it. Clouds, bitch, baby clouds. <laughs> baby clouds, cause it's not sub home. Mm. Yeah, I love that flavor. I love the flavor it produces with the flavor prism, but I love Milk Plus, it's so good. So that is my first look review of the T22 Endura, the Endura line, but this is the T22, it's a lot bigger. And I think that's really the only difference between the two is that this one has a bigger tank and a bigger battery life. It comes in different colors. So I don't know if a one month update would be like so necessary, but if you guys wanna see a one month update, comment below and I can make sure to do that. But I don't think I'm gonna do that for this device unless you guys wanna see it, just because I said it's basically just like the T18, just bigger all around and it performs pretty much the same. Like I said, it kind of has like a tighter draw, I almost feel like. I would sooner, you know, give this away to somebody who might need to use it to quit smoking versus keep it for a month and do a one month update if it's not requested enough. So if you do want to see it, let me know down in the comments below. But that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more reviews. Check the description box below for important links like where to get this mod or where to get my favorite things like e-liquids mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. I also have a second YouTube channel here where I like to upload completely random videos. So if you want to see more of me that's not vaping related, you can check out that channel. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining kasa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia Vapes, and thank you so much for watching. Who's excited for tomorrow's vape vlog? I am. Are you? Oh my god.